On Wednesday, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin announced that he would donate his fourth quarter salary to the charity Pathways. Pathways is a charitable foundation in Petersburg, Virginia, helping citizens get vocational training as well as education and health care services. Youngkin, a former head of the Carlyle Group, is independently wealthy and, like former President Trump, has made political hay of donating his government's salary to philanthropic endeavors. Youngkin is considered a potential dark horse 2024 Republican presidential aspirant. He spent the midterms summing for Virginia Republicans and national Republican candidates. At this time, we're ready for... Once again, thank you all for for being here. You can be seated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like church. <laughs> okay, now you guys stand up again. <laughs> oh, now you sit down again. All right. Before we get um, started this morning, um, I want to start the morning with a, a moment of silence in recognition of the great work that um, a service um, member of our community, um, and that is. Um, the Honorable Congressman Donald McEachin. So if you are on the moment of silence. Thank you. So good morning. I am Juanita Epps. I am Pathways CEO. I've been with the organization since 2005, going from a classroom instructor up the ladder in different um, opportunities, promoting the work of this organization. The organization itself started in 1995, and they started with a $500 um, contribution from the United Methodist Conference, telling the founders to go do something. Mm -hmm. And you will begin to see, if, you have, if you're not already familiar with the work that we went out and did and that we continue to do in this community. Um, and the most important thing at that time was that anybody that was interested in the good of the community could come together to work towards that. Since that time, we have changed our name from Petersburg Urban Ministries to Pathways. And as a part of that, we also revised our mission. And our mission is to build pathways to education and employment, good health, and community revitalization. And we do that through whatever is relevant for the time. One of the things that we have truly focused on over that entire time is working with young people. The only thing that's changed has been the age. We work with 17 to 24 year olds, typically high school dropouts, and we work, work with them um, to get vocational training in construction, logistics, um, and healthcare. We also work with them to achieve that high school diploma. We use Penn Foster online high school diploma um, certification, and we work with classroom instructors to support them in that work because we know that the online by itself is not enough. Um, but we also look at life skills and leadership development, career development. And our goal really is career development and leadership development utilizing a pre-apprenticeship program. Now, we don't do that work by ourselves. We do that with partners. Some of the partners are here on the stage with us. We do it with partners like you, so people who come in and volunteer their time to make sure that this work gets done. Now, we also do work around good health and community revitalization, and we do that through our clinic. Our clinic is a free clinic, and when I say F-R-E-E, -E, I mean F-R-E-E. -E. A person who walks through our door, they come to that door because they need assistance. They don't need a bill. So we provide them with medical care, 
through our volunteer doctors and our volunteer nurses. We have volunteer students who come from VCU Medical School. We have volunteers who come from VCU's um, VCU Health, but we also have um, individuals who come to us through VCU's Massey Cancer Center, volunteering their time. But not only those volunteers, we also have volunteers who are just community members who want to give back. So we're providing cardiology, women's health, um, chronic care, mental health, or we prefer to call it behavioral health, um, mammograms, um, and um, breast health. And we don't mean just for women. Breast health is across the board. So we provide that education for both men and women um, in that respect. But we understand that health has some other components. And a part of that is whether or not you have food, whether or not you have health, um, housing, whether or not you have clothing, and a lot of other things that are needed that can help to improve your health. We try to do that. We don't provide everything. That's why we need partners. And some of our partners, once again, are standing on stage with us, helping us to do that work. We have a community health worker who that's what she does. She lets the doctors and the nurses do their thing. And then she picks up to help them to figure out what are the other resources that you need in order to make you whole. That's the work that we're doing here at Pathways. And we do it, once again, with partnership. We don't do anything as a standalone. We might be a building, but we're a family, we're a community trying to do the work to make sure that this community is revitalized. We are about building lives and awakening hope. Um, so thank you for coming to visit us. If you know individuals who need our help, if they're uninsured or underinsured, send them our way. If we don't have the resource, we know how to connect them to it. So thank you for being here today. And now it is my great honor and pleasure to introduce to some and present to others the First Lady of Virginia, Suzanne Young. Once again, good exercise. Well, good morning, everyone. Looking out there, seeing so many familiar faces. What encouragement. How exciting to be here in this collaboration together, right? Trying to lift up Petersburg and lift up Virginians. Tremendously exciting and heartwarming. Thank you so much. I loved reading background on Pathways over these last months as Glenn and I have prayed over and considered um, who would be the recipient, which organization would be the recipient of this contribution. And it is just such a thrill to be here. We're so proud of this organization. I love, love the fact that the Methodist Church seeded the money into this. And I really think that everyone standing on this stage and probably many of you in the audience really are emblematic of God's hands and feet here on earth. So thank you. That is my message this morning. Thank you, thank you to everyone for what you do to enhance the lives of others and step into the call to love one another. Um, I do want to point out that my office is very determinedly focused on strengthening the spirit of women and girls. We're meeting with women and girls across the Commonwealth, talking to them specifically in two spaces, well-being and workforce preparedness. There's dignity in work, and we want to really address also the mental health needs of women and girls. So Pathways is just right in the bullseye of those efforts. So such joy to be here. I understand that 50% of the young people that were served in the last two years were young girls, over 50%. So that's tremendously exciting. And they received high school diplomas, national um, certifications, and post-secondary education and training. So kudos, kudos, keep up the good work. Um, but again, thank you so much. I know that you're not here to hear me. You're here, to, yes. You're here to hear your 74th governor, Glenn Youngkin. Thank you, God bless you. And let me introduce my husband, Glenn. Here we go again. Perfect. Well, thank you and welcome and thank you so much for coming today i i first 
uh, want to thank the First Lady uh, for being such a spectacular partner in, in this uh, amazing opportunity that she and I have uh, to serve Virginians. And it is such a blessing to wake up every morning, thank the Lord for the opportunity that he's presented in front of us, ask him for help, and then get to walk this path with your life partner. It's just amazing. And so thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I want to also uh, thank all of the folks who are here today. All of you are part of this great mission we have together. Uh, many of you are in our, in our elected positions, and particularly I want to thank all of you. Uh, I, want to, I want to thank Delegate Kim Taylor. I want to thank Senator Joe Morrissey. I want to thank Mayor Parham for constantly being where your heart is, which is right here in Petersburg. So thank you. I want to thank the City Council for all the great work you are doing. I want to thank Chief Christian for the great leadership that you're providing to this community. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Our administration is wholly committed, and so our cabinet, our deputy secretaries, our assistant secretaries, our Petersburg, our Petersburg partnership lead, Garrison Coward, is just heart and soul every day. Thank you all for the work that you do, uh, because this is a moment where we believe, because we see it, that collectively and together we are making a difference, and so thank you. Um, I have to say that Juanita very quickly summarized a lifetime of work, a collective effort to change Petersburg. And as she went through very quickly the breadth of capabilities that exist right here at Pathways, I found myself somewhat overwhelmed to reflect it in a short speech. You know, one of the toughest things to do is to sit down and write a short speech. My favorite, my favorite comment is, I sat down to write a short letter and I didn't have time. <laughs> because what happens here at Pathways is exactly what we are talking about broadly, comprehensively, partnering with Petersburg. When we announced our partnership in August, what we said was that we wanted to do this together. This isn't a government-led effort. This is a Petersburg-led effort with partners. And I love the fact, Juanita, that what you describe is a set of capabilities where you, yes, are doing, but oftentimes facilitating, inviting. We just had the great opportunity to speak with the just extraordinary people at, at the front of this establishment who welcome people in either on the phone or in person and help them find their pathway and onto that pathway they step. That is our shared goal. That's our shared goal for Petersburg, to provide comprehensive and sustainable solutions to the unique challenges of this community. And people ask me why. Why Petersburg? And it is such a simple answer, because Petersburg 